everyone. Five years ago, my mom passed away, and today I want to celebrate her life with something that she used to make all the time. Today, I'll be making my mom's potato salad. Now, I wrote down a recipe because hers was just by taste alone, and I was never really good at that. And she could taste something and say, oh, it needed more of this, less of this, or whatever. I am not that way. If you've ever watched my videos, you know I need to have exact measurements. I will be tasting it along the way, and if it tastes off, I will try to adjust that. So what all goes into my mom's potato salad? In theory, to start with, this is what I'll be hopefully doing. I'm Like I said, I may adjust it. Three pounds of potatoes, six hard boiled eggs, one medium onion, if you want. My mom always used green onions, so that's what I'm going to be using but either is fine. One half cup mayonnaise for you that like mayonnaise. Growing up, my mom always had the generic of the Miracle Whip, which they called back then salad dressing. So I'll be using Miracle Whip. One half cup of evaporated milk, or as she called it, canned milk. And she used evaporated milk when she made it for herself personally. She used to make it for a local pizza hut for the salad bar back in 1980. Then she just used regular milk. And she did that for about a year until Pizza Hat had to start using their company's potato salad. But it was a favorite though on their salad bar. Three tablespoons of vinegar, one fourth cup sugar, two tablespoons of prepared mustard, one teaspoon salt, one fourth teaspoon pepper. I almost forgot, we need about four sweet pickles and about a tablespoon of pickle juice. So let's begin. So take a large pot, put in your potatoes, put in the water just barely covering the potatoes, bring it to a boil and cook the potatoes for 20 to 25 minutes until fork tender. Also during this time, boil your eggs. Okay, so the potatoes, they did cook for about 20 minutes and we will check to see if it is pork tender. This is the biggest one right here. Look how easy it comes out. We'll drain that and cool it and then continue on. So you wanna peel your potato. Then you just cut it into chunks to whatever size you would like. And put it in a bowl. After you got the potatoes all chopped up, cut your eggs into chunks as well. and put them in the bowl with the potatoes. So after I've got the eggs and the potatoes in the bowl together, I will be adding the pickles and the onions. These I don't have measurements for. I have two bunches of onions. I'm gonna put some in and stir it up to see if it's about right or whether it needs more. And the same with the, the sweet pickles. Okay, so that's about a, a bunch. I have four sweet pickles sliced up here. I'll put in about half of them to make it two to see if that's about enough or whether it needs the full four slices or even more than that. You don't want it to be overbearing with onions or the pickles. That's why I am stirring it to kind of see. I think I will add the rest of the onions and the rest of the pickles and call it good and then mix that and that actually i think looks pretty good so set this aside and we'll make the sauce 
that's going to be the tricky part. So get a bowl and dump in all of the sauce ingredients, which is one fourth cup sugar, one half cup mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, and I'm using Miracle Whip because that's what my mom used to use. Plus, Dave likes Miracle Whip better than mayonnaise. The two tablespoons of prepared mustard. And what you're going to be adding, probably more of, will be either sugar, vinegar, or mustard, just to get the right flavor combination. Like I said, she never had a written recipe. She just gave me the ingredients and said, do it till it tastes good. And I don't work that way very well. And a half a cup of the evaporated milk or milk. The three tablespoons of the white vinegar. The one tablespoon of, I'm going to do about half of the pickle juice. Because I'm not sure how much to add of that. And I'll let you know at the end how much I used of everything, if it's different. The fourth a teaspoon of black pepper and the half a teaspoon of salt. And mix that until thoroughly incorporated. As soon as it's all mixed, I'll give it a taste to see or try to guess if it's good or if it needs something else. All right, let me taste it and see. I'm going to dump the rest of the pickle juice in. So that was one tablespoon. I'm going to add another tablespoon of mustard. So that would make it three tablespoons of mustard. And I am going to make sure I write all this down. So next time I make it, I'll have an exact recipe. Okay, let me taste that again. Almost there. So I'm going to add one more teaspoon. So that's three tablespoons and a teaspoon of vinegar. Let's see how that is. I will leave the final recipe down below. And I'm probably adding stuff that I, I should be adding something else. My mom would say, oh, you'd need this or you need that. It's actually pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have added the last tablespoon of, or half a tablespoon of pickles. I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar. That way it'll cut the pickle juice just a little bit. Now that's perfect. That is perfect. So take your sauce and pour it over the potato mixture. So get this all stirred up. This will be chilling for at least five to six hours before we do a taste test on it. Put a lid on it and stick it in the refrigerator until ready to serve. So here is mom's potato salad. And rounding out the meal is a cheeseburger. Let's see what Dave thinks. That's pretty good. It's got sweet pickles in it. It does have sweet pickles in it. That is, as far as I can remember, my mom's recipe for potato salad. I like this. Yep. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.